we're struggling. Rook c1, what does black do? I feel like we've said this like 10 times by now, but Rook c1 takes was our line. Right. And it's like... After bishop c5 winning the queen, he takes our bishop, we take the queen. There's a rook h1 check, which causes us to play rook c1. And then we're fearful that after a trade of rooks, it will be rook takes f6, and we'll have a rook bishop and a pass pawn on d3 as compensation for the queen. And we thought, that's not winning. It's, it's not completely convincing. So rook c1, bishop f3. Took us out of our comfort zone. I, I'm in agreement with, with the mind. I think that tactic has to play a play a role. role. Yeah. Yeah. The geometry is too pretty, right? But I'm sure that he's saying rook c1. It's not going to. Bishop work. f3, rook c8. Rook e8. Bishop h6. Ah, okay, I can get behind that. I'm tired, but I can <laughs> well, I can, well, that's I can give a gate. I can give that support. So rook c1, threatening bishop c5 as well as check on the 8th rank. Bishop f3, rook c8, rook e8, bishop h6 wins of queen g5 mate right mm -hmm. queen g5 and mate yeah okay so rook c1 what's the defense to bishop c5 and rook c8 we've got it that's our double attack that we've been trying to king e8 king e8 okay at last i think you're giving us a nibble Right, you got to take on e4, and then we skewer the rook. Eh. Mm -hmm. I like. Uh, I think Tommy made an interesting or It's more than one person, but Bishop f4, move on move one. I think we both did. I looked at Bishop f4. Don't think we will either. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That looks pretty decent, right? <laughs> No, oh, seriously. Maybe the queen doesn't have a No, but it's like when you're when you're exhausted yeah. from calculating and then someone suggests a new move, you're like, <laughs> nah, I don't see that. <laughs> queen d4 is... Uh... Next. Yeah, reason, reasonable response. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Covers everything. Okay, back to rook c1. <laughs> I didn't find a... Rook c1, maybe he has to play bishop c... No. What, sorry. Help me here, guys. Rook c1. How do you defend rook c8? Um, maybe bishop c5 as well. King the other way? King to g8? King to g8. Dang. Okay. Can I win your bishop c5? Yeah. Yeah, with this. Uh... Rook c8 and then bishop c5, right? Yes. I think so. And then queen h2. Because otherwise rook h8 and queen h6. Mm -hmm. Queen h2 to defend h6 square. And with everything hanging. Also after um, bishop c5, I wonder if rook takes... Rook takes c8. Oh, you can take on e4 first. Yeah, I mean, what you're saying first makes more sense. So one more time, help me out here, guys. Rook c1, rook c1 king g8. Rook c8 check. King h7. Bishop c5 with the threat of rook h8 and queen h6 mate. H2. Queen h2. Defends. H6. Queen g5. Queen g5. Bishop g6. What else? Like, my brain hurts. <laughs> well, what do you want from me here?
Mm. C1 King G. That would be remarkable. Disturbing. Yes, thank you. That's the better word. Disturbing. Rook C1 King G8. No way. I'd be fine playing Rook G1 there. Okay, hold on. Rook C1, King G8, now Queen A5. And I have more because you've made a commitment to go to G8. Oh, yeah, I was also wondering about Bishop C5 after King G8. First. Threatening Queen G5, yeah. right? Uh, but you always have the Bishop G6 mode. Yeah, Bishop G6 is a good, good defense. Sorry, you were saying um, Queen A5 after... G8. Right. C1, King G8, Queen A5. Yes, that's exactly right. So my idea is to play Bishop takes E4, for example. And then you're going to go Bishop G6. Seems right. It's yeah. very solid, yeah? Very solid. What is solid? So Rook C1, King G8, Bishop takes E4, Rook takes E4. Do I have something like F3? To uh, finagle Queen G two. Very nice. Um, probably not. But what are we playing? Of Bishop C four, Queen C four, C one. Hmm. Rook c1, king g8, queen here. Yes. I feel bishop like there's g6. probably a bunch of moves, but if bishop, bishop g6. That's the annoying, right? I check. I go here, here, I go here. Ooh. With a double threat. Like like rook h8. The old favorite, queen h2. Queen h2. Because we probably somehow had that position, the like right. different moves. Yeah, Queen H2 is bleh. <laughs> Queen H2. <laughs> Queen H2 is dead. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for some inspiration, I'll tell you a story. Uh, I, I just love this as a commentator. Uh, 2022 was a very, very strange year. I mean, it was the whole cheating scandal and the, and the the year of disrespect and everything like that. And I really, I, I have to say, I, I, I admire uh, Shaq, Shaq Riar, uh, very much. I love his very aggressive style and more or less his willingness to take excess, excessive risks. Really in, in a kind of a Shiroff uh, type of player. And his comment, his interviews, I can always sum up the same. I mean, every interview that Shakriar has ever made kind of goes, you know, I, I like good chess. I only play good chess. If I play good chess, I feel good. I'm very happy with good chess. But when I play badly, then everything is wrong. I, I can't sleep. I can't uh, eat. Uh, nothing good. But good chess, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy man. Good chess, I, I play good. All of his interviews. Just like that, one after the other. So he's playing this game in Budapest against Jan uh, Nepo. And Nepo has a move, bam, plus six. Just like destroy Shaq. He doesn't play it, he plays something else. And then later in the game, another move, bang, it's like plus 10. And Shaq Riyar, you know, plays really an amazingly good technical game, grinds Nepo down, and he wins. Shaq wins. And I'm doing the commentary with Peter Svidler. Peter Svidler and I, you know, like, completely confused. Why, why, why doesn't this just win? And we get a confirmation from Peter that it wins. And why doesn't this just win? We get a confirmation that it wins. So we're completely confused. Shaq Riyar comes on. 
being interviewed by Christian Chirilla. But I am very happy. Yeah, I, I feel very good. I, I play excellent game, and when I play excellent game, I feel like I have an excellent dinner, I have an excellent mind, I feel feeling good. So today I'm very happy. I play excellent game. And we come to the position, and what about this move? I say this move, but it's no good. I play this. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's real. Real chance. Yeah. Real chance, yeah. Oh, gee. I'm very surprised. I analyze so, 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 so. I don't see this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, it's disappointing. Disappointment for me that this, this, this. And then comes the second. And what about this? Well, then I play this. And then this. Come on! Come on! And Peter and I cracked up with this. Come on! It can't be true! You know, it was two opportunities for Nepo to win the game. Oh, no, I was not very good, but I'm very happy. I don't play good. What are you doing, dude? You're supposed to be uh, inspiring. I mean, we got to call it. The day at sixty-seven. I know we wanted to get to sixty-nine. No, no, we're just, just gonna we're gonna shoot one off the hip. No way. I mean, I just. I mean, I. I'm not. Well, I don't want to say inspired, but I just. I mean, I'm not seeing anything other than queen c three and rook c one. And rook c one, we refuted. And after queen c three, queen c six. But queen c3 feels way less good than rook c1. Except, here it comes. Rook c1, we refuted. <laughs> How? Bishop f3. Was bishop that... f3 loses on the spot to rook c8. Oh, that was the bishop h6 line. Yeah. How did rook, we, rook how c... did we, 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 we won, we traded off pieces, I thought. How did we trade off pieces after rook c1? Well, we did this. And bishop c5 is the bad move. Yeah. Gotcha, sorry. But but rook c1, we did king g8, we, and this is what we, we're looking at all that Me stuff. Too. But I'm oh, saying rook c1 okay. was at least, there were no conclusions. Whereas queen c3, to me, I don't see anything. Queen c3, queen c6, like, there's not even like a sliver of like a something. Okay. So you're reckoning rook c1. How does the, how does the crowd feel? Should we just, like, go on tilt? No, no, no. I, I think... I mean, I, I came late. You guys have been at it for a while. I have, right. I have some energy to. Okay. Keep going. So after Rook C, so Rook C one. Yeah. What did we say Iman was Black's best move? King G eight. Okay. And where do we go from there after King G eight? But there's, we can definitely if we're only calculating that, then I'm going to play Rook C one. Pull right? the trigger. Like. Pull the trigger. Because I definitely don't like queen c3 that much. So mm. queen c3, queen c6. Um, yes. Problem with queen c4 is I guess you just take on f3, queen. Yeah, c8 and rook e8, I guess. There's no, nothing there. I just thought queen d4 was a new square, but I didn't really use it. Mm -hmm. Wait, By the way. Rook c1, rook c1, king g8, bishop g5. Hey, Moj. Hey. Uh oh, the, 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 the brain trust just got uh, that like much better. Jeff in the house. Oh, Jeff. I'm pretty okay. convinced that whatever point I had last night, I should never touch again. Yeah, you were overwhelmed by the party. Wow. I get that. Never been this like. Yes, sir. Rook c one, king g eight, bishop h six. Deal with bishop h six for a sec. Rook c one, king g eight, bishop h six. With the threat, bishop g seven and rook c eight. You can't take on f three because I go queen g five and there's a mate. But bishop. Um, like Bishop H six, threatening Rook G one. Yeah, Bishop E four, Rook G one. I 
can see the wheels turning. Yes, the wheels are turning. Uh. So rook c1, king g8, bishop h6. Is that crazy? What rook takes f6? There's a bishop y advanced. Rook takes f6. So, <laughs> so rook c1, king g8. Bishop h6. No, no, but not bishop h6. You have to be very selective about which chat comments you read. <laughs> ah, okay. I did. I got the wrong comment. What? Bishop d4. Ooh. Rook c1, king g8. Bishop d4. Sexy. <laughs> Bishop d4 is a move that when I see it in the chat, and Sexy. by the way, we, we ruled out rook c1 because of this. And then, Forgetting about rook and then check and there, bishop h6. And there was one user in the chat who was just, but wait, what about rook c1? What about rook c1? And the same user has now suggested bishop d4. Uh, so just the geometry, that's a beauty. The heavens, Yasser, seem to be aligning. The, heart, the angels are singing, the chorus is yes. working. A very, very talented uh, move, no? Oh yeah, no, I like, I like. Uh, Bishop d4 just rings immediately. It rings true. Screams of uh, class, no? Yep, I agree. Okay, because let's bishop, pull it. Because bishop d4 guards the pawn. Yes. So there's no rook. And opens up the diagonal beautifully for the queen. So let's pull the trigger on rook c1. You like that? I like it. Come on, guys. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck spinning our wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and king e8 came instantly. That's what I mean. Bastard. And it's bishop d4? The move? This one we wanted bishop e4. But I they should be four and we were skewering. Right. I don't see the problem on this one. Bishop e4. Right? Jack. Shift me the rook. Uh, okay. <laughs> That was brutal. That was brutal, guys. Are we going to get to 69 so we can go to dinner? We were supposed to have dinner at 8. I think that was our schedule. Like we talked about it after the boxing. Oh, no. <laughs> be, 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 be sure. <laughs> be still, sweet child. Sweet child of mine. <laughs> Yeah, sir, a good, uh, a good puzzle solver never eats. Never eats, no. never sleeps. Just until our, our <laughs> shaking, bleeding hands. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's. You guys are this. saying feed Yasser, and then we yes. feed him, and then the guy complains about wings. Dude, well, don't feed, feed me like radiation <laughs> toxicity, you know? I mean, you know, the normal meat and potatoes will do just fine. Okay, so this is obvious, right? Rook h3, king h3, queen h1, king g4, g6, threatening mate on h5. The bishop has to go. Am I missing something? Well, it's also threatening mate with f5, which and means that queen b5 or something is not playable. Right. So rook h3, king h3, queen check, king g5, g6, threatening queen h5, threatening f5 mate. I Bishop somewhere, let's say. Then queen h5 and queen f5. Mate. So bishop g5? Better. It's a better attempt. Check on h5, queen g5. Oh, what are we looking at here? So Rook H3. I wonder Sorry. if that, instead of G6, if we play King G6, which mm -hmm. G5, you can play HG, and Queen H5 is a threat. 
So king g6, we allow either queen b6 check or queen d6. We got to follow it up with f6, right? right? We're still threatening the mate on h5. So but if you moves. play king g6? Yes. Oh, okay, you're threatening now h5. That's the point. Because I was like, okay, queen b5, you can't play queen h5 right, or yeah, f5. Yeah, yeah, but you're now yeah. threatening h5. That's the mate. Right. Okay, right. yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So queen d6 or queen b6, f6, whatever. And w the king looks nice on g6. Yeah. It's, it's, it's doing a good job at setting up the mating patterns. You know, it's sad because I think in a blitz game I play rook h3 without really thinking about it too long. And then my opponent said I was really worried about queen c8. You're like, uh oh, that would have been a good move too. <laughs> it does threaten mate. Queen c8, you have to play h4. Yeah. g5. Nah, queen b5. Yeah. But there's no way. Nah. <laughs> there's no way. Rook h3 feels... Okay, guys, pull the trigger. Let's go. I'm not, I won't be eating... Okay, pause. I like King G6 definitely. Like, King G6 th really. This somehow looks. Uh... G6, Bishop, Bishop, G6, Bishop G5 somehow feels a little problematic. The King G6, Queen D6 check, F6, with a threat of H5 mate, Queen H5 mate. I like, I like King G6. I How does like the chat King... feel? Wait, what about H5 and then Queen H3? H5. I have to go king f5, mm -hmm. queen h3, king e5, and I'm running. For the hills, huh? For the hills. That was why we wanted to play king g6 or g6, g7, g6, to stop king f5. That was our fear. The king g6 has something very, very aggressive. <laughs> well, h5 is, h5 is me, and these checks are relevant. For h5 being mate. Exactly. So the bishop must move. And then we have the mate in two. And if it goes if it goes anywhere except g5, queen then h5, this is mate in two, and the checks don't matter. Right. And if it does go to g5, then... With we, the king on g6. Yeah, then we just play h takes. And Whether there's still an f-pawn here or not. And white's king is a mating net. Queen and we're not even down material. Queen h5 will be mate no matter exactly. what gets played. I think we're convincing ourselves yeah, about King I mean, G6. A, is I, that, I, hold on, I want the crowd behind us. I think it's King G6. Do it. Pull it. Oh. Yeah? You like King G6? <laughs> you like your idea? <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the idea. <laughs> Somebody's got to support it. Okay, F6. Having said A. Mm. Wiles? H take. Yeah, we anticipated. Mm -hmm. We did. There is this. That's what I was just this, wondering. And like that is the problem. Right. Because here, then you could eh, eh, right. walk mm -hmm. your way into me. Right. But no, I think it's HG all the way. And this, you can basically pre move. Yes. Because There's no. It's a force mate unless queen takes here. And then it won't allow us to make a pre move. We got right. our 69. We got dinner. We got everything we wanted. Thank goodness. We got a strike. <laughs> oh. That was brutal, though. I do The strike, man, that was evil. Yeah, it was, because I we mean, did we all the, the hard leg, leg work already. We were in the defensive position. We had to find... You know, and, nice. And, and it went all the way... Can we check the one King we failed? F7. No. Yeah, we can't go back to check the one we failed. Only no. after the... It's over. It's over. Torture is over. Yeah. yeah, but Bishop G4 here, like when we were quitting, it would have been painful to get a second strike. Yeah, yeah by like, rushing. But, or something. By rushing, but I'm sitting there, come on, come on, Bishop G4. Because we're down a full rook. We're down a full rook. I mean, we could take on A2 and maybe win the rook back in some marvelous way, but... We need Way. more than a rook. Oh, definitely. So if this one is not bishop g4, then, you know. Well, the knight on d6 does a great job at covering f7, bishop g4. Without the knight on d6, might just run into a queen f7. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the knight on d6, Thankfully. that's our trump. That's right. 
Bishop g4, if the queen moves, we get to capture on e2 with a check or... And go from there. And go from there. So let's do it. Let's, uh, time is an issue. Well, wow. Okay, now this is really... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, now this is the, the problem. So rook e2, king f1. And also bishop e2, I think, is kind of like out of the question. Like it doesn't look good enough. This knight's covering everything. Rook e2, king f1, I think it's queen f5, back. queen f5, knight f5, with threatening mate on e3 and g2. d2 is hanging. That looks very convincing. Seriously, it does. King d1 is easy. easy. And if there's ever any of this, with our queen on f5, we can take with the king. Exactly. And... Yeah, rook e2. Let's go. Yeah, queen bishop h3 doesn't exist. This is too slow. And again, a big shout out to our chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. But also, please... Um, Use your, <clears throat> excuse me, use your own noggin. Don't give us computer generated lines. We want fair puzzle rush play. The marker we set has to be the combination of That's ourselves right. and uh, uh, the purity of the audience. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And you know, the chat has reassured me, yes. Yasser, that although our 69 has a blemish, 69 is better dirty, you know? Just. Just a little red X in there, it just was. so you know it's real. Right, right. Okay, uh, Queen F5. I like it. I like it. I've got this one. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, I'm a fan of Rook D2. I'm a big fan. Just like, I don't see, in fact, that would be even worse. Exactly. And this, we're not quite giving check. So. Pieces are pieces, man. Good piece. Ooh. There we go. A uh, king C. What? White is going heck? here. We are going there. Damn. So it, is it one of these dag noggin rook a6 and rook c6 blocks? Rook. Not oh, to correct your notation, but so that rook, we know we're going this way. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> rook h3, rook, rook uh, f3. Right. Yeah, exactly. and then it's like takes, takes. One of those They guys get a queen, queen, we get a queen, but then we have, aha, checks. Or checks do anything. <laughs> okay, but then the question is, if we do give a check, where is the white king going to go? It will right. also be somewhere because of the, the initial check. Correct, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Oh, the oh. initial check. Um, no. It can't be... Rook c6. So it's got to go so, check and then rook d6. Tickling the bishop. Let's say here. So you don't want to lose the bishop. Eh, eh. Okay. So, okay, check. King b4, rook. Yes. d6. And you can make a queen with b2, but I'll make a queen with a8, and I'll be a rook ahead, which I'm presuming I'm winning. Mm -hmm. If you take on b7, a very decent move, I'll take on d3. Oh, pardon me, e6. I'm getting it all. I'm kind of confused by the black side. But yes, I'll take on e6. You'll go g7. Yeah, rook g6. Rook g6, I'll pick that guy up. And then you'll go rook g2. That's yes. The, yeah. I'll chase the... Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but you wanted to suggest that you could also start with a move like rook g8 or rook e8. But in either case, he's pushing the other pawn. And then pushing the other pawn after, and you can never touch... Either one. Either one. So it's so got to be a I check, and, the then the, and then rook, rook e8. I think this has to be the first yeah. move. Yeah. Followed by rook e6, I think, has to be the second move as well. Let's go. Time constraint. Here, bishop d5. Eat it. Eat the damn pawn. Take the pawn, Amon. Yeah. Feel the force. And just to be clear, takes, takes, mean, d7. 
Eh, 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 eh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, once again, rook e6, bishop d5, rook takes, bishop takes, queen, and g7. <laughs> it's, not, it's like, I don't have a king to d2, no. move, and uh, uh, make a, a mate in threat. Ah, before you take, you give a check. Throw in rook e2, and then rook e6. Sweet! I love it! That's a nice trick. And it's... It looks like... Somehow what, the queen... It will, looks like how they want to get you. Right. Good one. I love it. I like Amon. that. Amon! Amon is a sharp today. Look at you. Okay, we gotta go rook there. And then I love your... Your... Uh, and then, yeah, no matter where they go... Swish and zoop. It'll allow for some check, and... Wait, the, the, and somehow the queen will... So if the king is here, the queen just wins the pawn. And if the king goes here, what will we do? Check. There. That one looks easier. For example, queen e1 and queen e6. Exactly. And then here, this one, necessary. Right. If takes, takes. I think we can figure that out. I, de I definitely like rook over. Yes. I definitely like rook check. I think that's the, that's the beauty. Yeah. No choice now. Now we're, we're in deep. Yeah, we were kind of uh, constrained. Yeah. Good. Okay, so okay. now here, here. That doesn't look good enough because of. Maybe it still works. Ooh. Okay. So. If the king goes to a dark square, we know we win with that, which is useful. Bingo. So, queen check, king, a4 is box. Mm -hmm. Normally speak. Oh! There's a check here on b4. So b5. So just take everything. Yeah, b5 does win. Yeah. And then all yeah. squares, we have answers. Exactly. So check. b5. <laughs> but it was that swish and zook. You got I mean, the swish yeah, and zook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swish and check. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's, that's why I need a man on my team. We put our heads <laughs> together for that one. There we go. Nicely 71. done. Okay. 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 All right. We're all right. right. We're moving. A good We're start. Moving. A good start. Queen c3. Difficult not to play. Seriously. Um, King f1 force. Because this gets. Ah, that's what it wants us to do. Queen c3. King f1. Bishop d3. So we can play rook b2 check. Hmm. Like we that that bishop is. On f8 is protecting our king from queen e8 mates. Well, that's why I was going to say queen c3, king there, rook b2. Immediately. Because I'm threatening checkmate. And if he takes the bishop on e4, we can get that far. <laughs> step <laughs> by gentle step. I get it. I get it. I'm with you 100% on this one, buddy. So queen c3, king f1, bishop d3. Where the heck is the king going? Uh, 92 gets the variation you wanted. Bishop takes e2, rook check, and your 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 gold. What about queen here, king there, bishop g2? Ooh, I the same concept I, that you had of rook b2. I just don't like the G2. bishop blocking us on d3. Nice. Okay, I can get behind that. Queen c3 check. King, king f1. f1. Bishop g2 check. Wow. Take the bishop, drop the rook down. King has to go back. So that line works. Right. But then there's also king f2. Then we Check. Knight there. Queen f3. Queen f3. King g1. Bishop h1. Probably. And again, the bishop on the f8 bishop is, is our friend. And there's no covering g2. Right. Well, how's the chat feel about bishop g2? I'm seeing do it. Um, and then the last one is uh, here. 
King, King uh, E2. That's just for this. Two. Mate. It's mate. It's mate. And then here, here. There's D1. Uh, sorry, D8. And we have mate or mate. Right. Exactly. Queen C3, let's go. And Bishop G2, let's go. That's the. And check. And check. Dude, we're, Bishop we're rolling. G2. We're rolling. I think yesterday inspired you. You 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 got this 3400 <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. you know, mindset. You know, now you can't get it get it away from it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It was good we, we slept on it. We were there's oh, no way no we were going way. past sixty-nine that we day. We were so we were tired. Gone. Yeah. I yeah. mean, no. Uh, gone is it when, that one puzzle took it out of us. Oh. Uh, but it was an evil puzzle. There That's was just fair. there was just no excuse for that puzzle. We had it was a puzzle we had gotten deep. We first of all we were on the defensive. We had we were rook up and which we had never to, feels good. Which yeah. never, so we're finding all of these defensive moves, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Finally, just the moment we think we're out of the woods and there's <laughs> like two ways of winning, we chose the wrong of course path. We chose the wrong one. Yeah. Oh man, that was so brutal. Okay, so here. Since we're facing mate, yep. and probably we're material down as well. Uh, we have no cha no no time for queen f8 and queen takes c5. We just get mated on h2. Mm -hmm. So everything we do, basically, we're going to have to do with check. That's right. Yeah. And if we play, for example, queen f8 and king c7 and rook, we're... We're giving black choices, knight d7 and or rook d7. So Plus, I don't really know the next move. So whatever checks we give have to be of the variety where they're precise. Like queen e8, for example, gives us a different checking square, which allows the rook to function a little better. I like that. I like. I, yeah, I, like, I, I don't like the fact that the queen and rook are Bunking tripping over yeah. one another. Mm -hmm. A move... Like queen e5 check right here, right now, followed by rook f8 or rook f7 or whatever, would be dream. So okay. Here, here, here. I like that. I like where you're going. I mean, then if rook d6. Yeah. First of all, we've defended h2, which is useful. That is very nice. Then we have a rook check, knight d7, rook takes d7. Do we have rook takes d7? Hmm. I'm not sure we have rook takes d7 and rook takes b7 because there is king c8, right? Yeah, I'm not sure that we do. Okay. So once again, we're looking at queen e8 check, queen e5 check, rook d6. Now I'll pause for just a moment because at least we're not being faced with a mate. What do you think about rook f7 check, knight? d7, rook takes b7, king takes, queen takes d6. kind of like it, actually, just because of the idea that I'm defending Geometry. h2. Yeah. And I'm somehow my bishop is defending f1 as well. But I definitely think queen e8 is the most precise. Mm -hmm. and the most... I was looking at this, and we don't, again, we don't get the rook in. Rook f8, right? There's no rook f8 after queen I f4. feel very good about that. I do. Um... In fact, it is stone cold forcing. You have to play rook d6. Let's do it. Let's do it. And pause. Yeah, so I, I feel quite good about this. And rook, and rook d7, d7. Followed by queen d6. And if rook d7, for some and reason, king wherever, it doesn't matter because we always can at least play queen d6. Exactly. Whether Covers you take this. the rook or not. Yeah. And like after the king goes there, we take here. I mean, we're. That's a nice We pen. have me everywhere. Correct. So losing the bishop is mean, meaningless. But rook check, king. Uh, pardon me, knight. Uh, if king goes here, no, we have queen e eight check and bishop e six. Yeah, that's easy me. So, so yeah, rook forced. check, knight d seven, and sorry, uh, yeah. just to be clear, rook check, knight d seven, bishop e six. Maybe not as forcing as your rook d7, but asking... No, but your rook's hanging. 
Oh, I beg your pardon. My rook's hanging, yeah. so you take so the that, rook. And I that's exactly the... what caused me to look for a move with the hanging rook. Okay. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, then it's very clear. I mm. like it. Rook. And instead of taking the rook, obviously, I'll go rook takes h2. Exactly. Takes and, and, and then some it. perpetual, and I'll have uh, failed in the puzzle. Rook f7. Yeah. Knight d7, rook b7. Can I get a support from the friends? King takes, queen takes d6. Everything's hanging on d7 with check. H2 is guarded, and both of these pieces are somehow a little clumsy, almost like that game we played against Pranav yesterday. Oh, that was crazy. The where, rooks like, are, yeah, that was actually. The heavy pieces are. Uh, uh, Deeplio asks, what's the highest rated puzzle? We're going to find out. <laughs> exactly. We're on a mission on to a find mission. out. That's exactly right. Do Feel it. Feel good about it? Yeah, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And well, you got to take on H2. It's mate. Yeah. Noise, noise. Dude. Nice. That's a great start. I mean, it's still, it doesn't overcome the strike. The strike no. It was like, ooh. That was a. Oh, man. And that was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's still with. Pulling the sword out. You like that one, Dave? That's good. These puzzles are tough. Right? Okay. But I'm not kidding. That game we played yesterday probably helped me just visualize the queen and rook being awkward there. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of like fresh in my mind. Yeah. No, sometimes you see these patterns. Uh, what, I'm not sure what the story is. But forgive me. I don't know if the names of the players. But somebody... And I think it was a Kiva rumor team. Mm -hmm. was playing like the game of their lives. And they had this incredible combination that didn't work. They <laughs> played it and lost. Oof. And it stuck in their head. Mm -hmm. And like four, five, six months later, they were creating a study based on the pattern. That they wanted it. They wanted it they to, wanted be, to yeah. work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, like the one he that was got so away. determined exactly. to make it work exactly. that he made a whole study out of it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, so here, of course, our dream would be to play Queen C8 yeah. and just claim, but Queen D7 is embarrassing. So we have to start with Rook C1. Yeah. So that so, you can't play Queen D7. And Rook A1, there's Queen A8. Correct. At the end, so there's no because that almost queen a five, queen a five, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, agree, agree. So this so, is the only move that I see as the first move. Queen here, any move, it's queen takes check, yeah. and the only reason that this doesn't work now is because of mate. So correct. I think rook c one is forced. Okay, then I think how are we doing dealing with rook d seven? You go rook check, rook d eight, queen c seven, queen c seven, important, and not queen b eight. Because, it, yeah, and then after here, 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 force queen c7, I'm dead. Rook f8, not dead, <laughs> not completely dead, right? And then still queen b8 doesn't work. Okay, so I was, yeah, I was trying to find out what defense we're supposed to be worried about. That's the defense. So rook c1, rook c1, right rook d7. That's a funky move, man. Because I think in that position that the theme might be something like rook c4 territory. Yeah, one I'm of those getting, groupy. I'm getting vibes. Rook c4 vibes. Ooh. I'm not sure myself, but yeah, I understand where you're coming from there a little bit. It's a little bit. Not too much. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not all there. I'm just saying. <laughs> rook f8. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Rook F8. Okay, so what we're looking at, everybody, is Rook C1. Now, any move like H6, we have Rook to C8, and it's rather easy for us. Sorry, I'm thinking of Rook C1, Rook there, Queen A7. Let me just say it. Dude, dude, it dude. has a very easy refutation. <laughs> Too much talent. <laughs> but yeah, sir, let the record show. I suggested it. You're right, first. <laughs> so rook c1. I'll be over here. Yeah. <laughs> In the corner, wearing the dunce cap. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
Okay, rook c1, rook d7. Now, your rook c4. The main question is what do you do after h5? You need an answer to simply h5. You rook c4, h5. Yeah, or just in most lines. But, right. but yeah, rook c4, h5, let's say. Right. Many queen checks really aren't impressive. Okay. So we're looking at rook c1, rook d7, rook c8, rook david8, queen c7, rook f8. And we're kind of stuck. We want to play the move queen b8, but we're running into queen d7. Mm hmm Hmm. That's just funny. I'm yeah. convinced that's the position. Like, that those two moves are... Right. You can assume them, almost. Yes. Uh, by the way, give me another move beside rook c1. I, I can't. That's no. What I, that's yeah, what I, I mean. Because queen takes d7 check. Rook a1, like illegal, he, loses, right? And no other open files. Right. And King g2, is, queen takes so d7. I, forget about play it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, now here's the... Where do we go from here? You know, something along the lines of queen c8, rook, uh, rook d8, rook c4, you know, h5, asking, yeah, go ahead, take my queen, I'll take your queen. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, uh, that doesn't uh, work. Doesn't inspire. Does not inspire. And we had looked at rook c4 and rejected it for because of h5 as well. I was saying h5. We could... No and if we what. continue, queen takes b4, not that I'm inspired by that, but queen f2, and yeah. I can't go queen c8 anymore and pick up the rook. So that doesn't feel right. It's like one of those crazy moves. I want to go like rook c8 check and queen d5. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, the thing is, the queen is defended by the pawn. Exactly. So in so many lines... Yeah. What would be a trick is simply not Not there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on that note, imagine the e5 pawn was missing. Rook c8 yeah. check, rook d8, queen a7. You know, I'm one telling of those you. kinds of moves, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah, yeah. You. Well, you planted the seed. <laughs> Johnny Apple seed. <laughs> uh huh. What's our chat? Because, like, rook c7? Ooh, 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 ooh. Rook c7. It's got a point. Rook takes c7, queen b8. Yeah. And I've got a back rank mate. Rook c7, rook d8, rook takes f7. I'm threatening mate. And the e5 pawn is actually in the way. Because now you're not defending g7. And if you take the pawn on f7, you defend f2. Stop the counter. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Rook c7. That looks, really, that looks really good. Because rook c8, rook d8, queen c7, when you see rook f8, yeah. you're at a dead end. And the fact that the queen's defended, even though I'm hunting very, very, very seriously for a way to make it work, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not finding any cute tactics because this, this is defended and simply Twice. like yeah. black just plays h5. So. Right. Here's a, a tip for everyone. We, in chess, we have all of these tactics. And we have these marvelous, marvelous names, including Swish and Zug and That's the right. promotion and all of these other things, skewers and forks and so on. But seriously, 90%, maybe more, of all tactics are simply double attack. If you think of an under promotion, most of the time you're under promoting because it's a double attack, right? Yeah. So double attacks. When you have a situation like this, where the queen is so very well defended, your tactics of double attacks usually are not going to work because the pieces are too well defended. Here, I love this idea of rook c7, rook d8, rook takes f7. You know, it doesn't look winning, but then you ask yourself, okay, go ahead and defend if you're black. It's not a pleasant defense. I mean, you can take on e4, but I get to take on... No, you can't you take, can't on, take e4. on e4. You can't take on e4. That's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. Right? Yeah. Then it's, it's clear. Rook it's, c7. I think it's the answer. For sure. Yeah. Rook c7. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I mean, look, uh, we, you know, <laughs> since we've suffered so much, you know, any any freebies are like, <laughs> whew, we'll take it. Oh my word! What the heck is this? G seven. I mean, every fiber of my being wants to play queen D to D two, but. Queen G7 will be awkward. Awkward. <laughs> yep. Ah. Uh, 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 so, are we thinking, oh, I was thinking knight F5. Just, you know, to make G7 defend it. Yeah. Like knight F5, knight takes D7, queen D2 would be, you know, Optimus Prime. That was what I was... Yep. Going for because this still has knight h6. Bingo. Yeah, imagine queen d2 getting hit by queen h5 check. Never mind. So you you like rook f4? Very. I was forcing. just looking at it, but okay. Queen g5 looks but, yeah decisive. As decisive as in decisive for our problem. <laughs> <laughs> not like it wins in the game. No, it's not. Not doing it for us, is it? So rook f4, queen. G5. I don't like rook f4. Uh, um, Bishop e6 is the only other forcing move. Mm, knight takes. By the way, bishop takes e6, queen takes e6, queen d2 serves as. <laughs> knight takes e6, you say? Yeah. e7 is just hanging. Okay. No, I don't have rook a2 check and queen d2. With the knight gone, like the knight's on d7, king can come up to b3. I don't have any. So if you play knight f5, yes. what do you do about queen g5? What do I do about queen g5? Yeah, bishop takes e6, queen takes h6. Because one thing that came to mind was that it might get you on a move order. So instead of knight f5, where queen g5 works, takes takes knight f5 makes a better impression because it threatens something. Correct. Queen d2. And then... If you take the rook on f8, queen d2. Queen d2. And queen h5. I think king, king g8. I go king g8. You do have a check, but I think I can... Yeah. Laugh at the checks. But that I like that. Bishop takes e6. Knight takes e6. Knight f5, threatening mm -hmm. the knight. If the knight takes the rook, the queen goes to d2, and, if, and the king hang, uh, hangs itself. And if knight there, I queen was going to go... Queen d6. Yeah, queen yeah. d6. I'm feeling it. So that... Amon, let's do it. It's the most forcing. we got time uh, issues. And keeping, queen takes is simple. Yeah. I'm feeling that, damn, we're on a roll. Let's do it. Definitely here, not here, right? Just to be sure. I mean, they have c5, so. Although, yeah, although, queen d2, definitely. This is just yeah. so much better, right? Just feeling it. And now pause. <laughs> <laughs> because knight h6, knight g6, king h7, knight f8, king. That feels wrong. No, rook takes g7. That's what I mean. It feels wrong to play knight h6. Exactly. Because yeah, we're just hanging g7 with a check one day. Here, if king g8, there's check here. Like, we're never getting out of checks. Yeah, like, yeah, no. King king g8, queen h7, king Only f8. Move. Check on h8, king f7, and life's good. The knight is just doing a great job defending everybody. And queen back to h5. Life's not the, that good. <laughs> yes, it is. The knight on h6 is defended by the queen on d2. So, king g8, queen h7, king f8. Oh. Right? King f8, queen h8, king, queen, queen h5, king g8, queen e8, king, yes. Queen g6, draw. Oh, you don't have to go queen h5 and allow me knight h6. No.
Well, then I have to go. Hold on. Okay, so I like King G8. I, I don't think Knight H6 is the, is the way to go here. Here, um, here, there. If King here, I just don't. You're not buying that. Not, neither Wait. am I. You're saying King, we definitely C, not? King D6 and run mm, for the hills? Yeah, no, but we're making No. Okay, how about this one? Yes, yes, no. King G, yes. Yeah. Right? Don't take the knight. Queen H5, then, uh, what do you do after Queen H5? It's the same. Can't I run for the hills? Okay, sorry. Then you could maybe go here. Yes. Uh, but Queen G5. Oh, shoot. I beg your pardon. You're right. So King, okay, uh, I don't think it's knight h6. I think we have to play King g8. Can I get a confirm from, from our audience? Should we do King g8 and not knight h6? That's the question. Knight h6, knight g6. If king here, knight back, king here. We're afraid of rook g7 check. And then queen g5 check. King takes g7, queen yeah. g5 check. So definitely, king g8, let's go. <laughs> no! Yeah, sir. Oh, it stings, buddy. What did we miss? Knight h6. Knight h6, knight g6. What did we miss? King g8? Knight e7, king f8. f8. Knight g6. King e8. e8. And then king d8. And walk into a discover check. Ah! Like it wasn't, we didn't reach a conclusion. No. Right? We did not. It was like check, check. No. It we, seemed good, but. It seemed very good. Oh, that was painful. Oh. Yeah, that really uh, slowed down the, uh, <laughs> the momentum. The train, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, that needs a sour taste. Gosh, hey, buddy. I think the equipment even uh, sympathized. And <laughs> broke the soundboard there. Oh man. Oh man is right. Oof. Brutal. Yeah, it, yeah, it's what we just said. Well, yeah. Yeah, at age six and run the king laterally. G8 That's F8. not intuitively obvious, folks. G8 F8. Jeez. Okay. We're vulnerable now. Oh, man. We're on tilt. Man. Okay. I'm going to get another coffee. Queen D6. Discuss. Right? Queen D6. G3. Knight G3. Queen D6. F4. Takes on Passant. And that's just... That. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, this isn't a good sign. It looks too easy. I know. That's <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Can I get you something, Mom? How are you doing on your, um, your water? I'll take a refill of that water. This is just, it's just water. Crystal clear, cool, cold water? Exactly. Okay, I'm right back. Thank you. God, I'm in pain. Yeah, that's. That hurtful. That's going to keep people up. Ouch. Oof. You guys know now, Yasser is the impulsive one in this relationship. Both X's have been when we've got the puzzle correct for like three or four moves. And then the fifth and likely almost the final idea, we rush the, the answer. And it's Yaz who rushes it. Yasser is the, the driving force behind the decisiveness. <laughs> Queen d6 from Yasser does look quite promising. Um, 
yeah, like totally winning. G3, knight G3, king G2 is kind of what I'm thinking is, is the tricky part. And then maybe rook H6. Yeah, I like rook h6 there. I like rook h, something like this, this, this. King g2 to me looks like a good defense. Knight e2 and queen h2 is force mate. No other way to get in the way of that, except f4, but f4, I mean, takes, you're dead. You're dead there. Completely dead. f4 immediately takes, you're dead. So here, 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 and I think the answer is rook h6. If rook h1, we just take everything, and we'll be up material there, because can't take back twice, queen h2 mate, and king g2 rook here, rook g1, for example, then it's force mate, rook h2, queen h6, queen h3, and if white does nothing in that position, we're also threatening rook h2, queen h6, queen h3. If white goes f4 in that position, then rook h2, king g3, king takes queen h6. King g3, queen h3, king f2, queen h2, mate. I'll, I'm curious what Yasser thinks about it, but I think that's the answer. Because if you go, if you sack here and then play some of the like knight back or wherever, then white's going to play rook h1 and you're not going to have mate. Yeah, h2 is covered. So that's why I wanted to play rook h6 there to have the idea of rook h2. I'm quite sure that's the answer. Uh, Kilimanjaro, uh, rum. Rum is the preference. I believe Yas was a rum guy. AB, how are you? Thanks for the 20 months. It's Nightvid. Thanks for the prime sub. Juicy Joe, five months. And just a bandwagon fan. Thanks for the 31 months. So yeah, I'm I'm attached to Queen D6, Knight G3, Rook H6. Feel good about that. Why do you have to play G3? Well, what else stops me? There's only two moves in my opinion. One and two. We looked at F4, but it's not a very long look. You just take and H2 mate is threatened. But g2 is also hanging. The position basically seems even worse. Yeah. And, yeah. No, that looks, uh... That looks good. I'll present my findings to Yaz. Martin Eden, that's a good line as well. Of course, white's not going to play pawn takes, but yeah, there's many mates there. Rook h6, queen h2. Here, f4, pawn takes, rook takes, queen h2, and there's me. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the bathroom, but I'm going to show you... My findings, so you, you can discuss. Is. You can discuss with Let's the chat, do it. and then uh, when I come back, we can uh, we submit. execute. So my uh, follow up was uh, that yes. I like Queen D six. Okay. I think F four loses on the spot. Clear. Um, there's only other one other move to consider. I to think it's G three. I think we take. Yeah. I think if F four happens, then then we take and it's a massacre. Okay. Um, 
So we take, and I think the best defense is king g2. Okay. And now, you know... You don't want to take the rook, or do you want to take the rook? I think the king takes, and I'm not Runs. convinced. So I like rook h6 there. Still Ooh. our knight can't be taken. That's me. We stop rook h1 because... Very important. Because we can just take everything. And if rook g1, we have rook h2, queen h6, queen h3. Sweet. And with the king on g2, after rook h6, if f4 then, I still like rook h2, king h2, queen h6, queen h3, and queen h2 will be mate no matter what, because our pawn covers. We can get to the h2 square by force, basically. Okay. So that's, that's what I like. I'm going to go Fantastic. to the bathroom. If you like it, you can even submit it, Yasser. Wow. Let's see what you, you trust me. I don't. That's what <laughs> you, mean, right? <laughs> you said you in the chat. I got you. Wow, I can't believe I have the controls. This fe feeling of awesome power is beginning to cause comfortable sensations. Wow. Well, what about e4 after knight g3? I think we're going to have to put queen d6 on the board. I'm going to have to put knight g3 on the board. Ah, sorry. I thought <laughs> I thought I was going to get to discuss the move e3, e4, but of course the computer will play, play what it thinks is um, the, um, the, the, the best move. I think the problem with e3, e4... In this exact position, it's simply knight takes e4. The knight would come back and grab the pawn, and then this diagonal is uh, wide open, and you don't have g3 anymore. And I have to be very careful I don't hit the wrong button. Now here, yes, comfortable sensations. <laughs> uh, I had to execute queen d6 mm -hmm. and knight takes g3. I had to. That just, the, the, the crowd was cheering. That's I, fair. I, the the, the bloodlust was high. That's fair. Right? Yeah. But now, uh, I agree that knight takes f1, king takes f1 is like cashing in the chips early. Yeah. Yes, we can say that what black is probably still winning, but it's not that crunchy feeling that rook h6 is inspiring. Rook h6 is inspiring because we have this threat of rook h2. Yeah, we're threatening it. And rook h1, knight h1, that's yep. a setup we like. So I think rook h6, and besides rook h6, if we play knight e4, which is a very yeah. nice move, rook, rook h1, h1. Yeah, I'm not convinced by that. But rook h6 has my vote. Let's, let's do it. And okay. decently important, which one? Because there's obviously a difference. I would love to take with the knight, frankly. I mean, the knight makes sense because then we have queen h2. We're threatening mate. Exactly. But I'm, I guess it's just so much better than rook h1. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if we go... Well, knight takes h1 puts us up a piece, by the way. So, for example, if you take... Yes. I go queen f5. Queen h2, check. Queen takes f2. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you defended the bait. Ah! That's a, uh, dad, trying to sneak one in on me, are you? <laughs> I'm playing for the other guys. But... <laughs> <laughs> Some espionage. <laughs> trying to sneak one past me, uh huh? Well, I can trade queens on f3. I can go queen h2 and king f1, queen h3, and king e2 and queen f3. I'm a piece up. So in other words, knight takes h1, queen f5, queen But I think h2. it's relevant because if you went rook takes, 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 queen f5, yeah. queen h2, king there, queen h3, king e1. You can't trade queens, and it's reasonably annoying this queen c8. Okay, so fair. I think the difference is you want to leave the rook on e1 and take with the knight. 
Exactly. Which makes it, it's our instinct move, anyways. Which it is, is a good, the, uh, good sign. Yeah. But uh, the other thing yeah. is, um, in principle, a, a very important principle, a, a guiding principle. Whenever you're attacking, try to avoid unnecessary trades of attackers for defenders. In this case, rook takes h1 is like, maybe it's an unnecessary trade, whereas knight takes h1 keeps the rook alive mm -hmm. and things like that. I like knight takes h1. And I love the rook h6 too, by the way. How's my voice today? Have I re am I recovering? Yeah, it sounds great. It sounds almost normal, yeah. <laughs> to me, it sounds like I'm weird. No, no, like no. Weird, you were... chesty here. Uh, I still, I, I have echoes and refrains of the Godfather. In my head. <laughs> I swear you sound normal. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Let's do it. Night H one. Night H one. I'm. It's unfortunate, but I was just looking at knight e4. And there's no way that it could be knight e4 because we could have played it last turn. Yes. That's my main refutation. Because it's also like... Why did... Yeah. Queen takes h1. Like, yeah. yeah. But how Doesn't can you say no to... Gotta do it. How can you say no to free stuff? Free is good. The free is the price is right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, break this one down for us, Simon. Um, Two pieces for the rook. Queen c7 looks the most forcing. Yeah. Material, let's say, is basically level. Okay. Um, this one loses. And king here... I mean, first of all, if I just take the bishop, I'm not I'm not having any of that. That's that's, that's not, not good happiness. Enough. That's not good enough for me. Um, rook d6. So you want to start with a check, king g6, rook d1, yeah. d6, after the check, queen e5, kind of box, right? Forced. Yeah, uh, there is pawn takes f3. Three, which I was looking at, Ooh. which might be tricky. So rook takes e6, f2 check, and we're forced to play a move like king h2 suddenly. And after you make a queen, I don't know if, <laughs> if uh, probably uh, lost. Is, yeah. uh, if life is good or not. Although in that case, the bishop would be hanging at the very end of the line where you played f1 equals queen. Yeah, then I, 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 knight g4, yeah, yeah, queen f4. Uh, one of the things that made me stop is because there is this crazy move, h5. Yeah. Where you could make an argument that whatever captures, like if the knight captures, it's like it's, you know, like awkwardly offsides and then queen c7 check kind of wins the house because the king marches up and you get to play rook the sixth rank and pick up the queen right mm -hmm. the queen would be pinned but something like h5 knight h5 you know give it a rest right and h5 threatens queen g6 and queen takes g7 so you're kind of forced to take it you'd have to take it with the rook so and the the reason <clears throat> that i like the train of thought you're on is that queen c7 rook d6 yeah it appears to be wrong and it appears like this is something you could miss right because queen e5 rook takes f6 looks okay. winning because queen takes rook d6 rook takes queen e5 and pawn takes rook g8 right and king takes rook d6 again okay so it just seems like this almost like works but for for e or takes f3 and that seems like a trick so i i like the train of thought that you're on with with h5 yeah so you okay. were saying h5 rook h5 because if knight you're just it's too much well then i was going to go queen jack 
And then the point is, I was taking the queen with a check after e4 takes f3, da 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 da. So rook takes? Right. So now rook takes. So now I've distracted the rook away from f3, f2, Mm -hmm. which might make this queen check, king g6, rook to d6, queen e5, Mm -hmm. rook takes f6. And if pawn takes, then we have the nice mate with rook g8 and g4. The king can go to f4 still. Check. Um, the probably then, king f5, king f5, queen d7. Oh, okay. king f5, queen. yeah, I was agreed. I, I, I think I've got that. So I do think somehow this move h5, this intermezzo before, you you have to not allow e4 takes f3. Mm -hmm. I think that's the trick that they want us to fall for. And here, 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 and queen f7. And queen f7. Just rook 8d7. Yes, because the knight is still pinned. And let's say rook 8, d7, queen f8. F8. So then we can take a bishop. I guess and that's good. And with the rook on h5, I'm not worried about taking the queen on takes f3. on f3. Yeah. From g, uh, b7. So, so we, think, we think we're starting with and that a feint. That threatens queen g6. Which and queen g7, which win. is killer. Yeah. Okay. I like h5. Um, me 3. And can the boys execute it? Yes, no? F takes e4. Crap. That's not a move we even looked at. What do you mean? F3 takes e4. Can't take with the knight. We have a rook check. Can't take... Can you take with the queen? I think so. Oh, darn. Yeah, queen takes. Looks reasonable. Okay. Good. The other thing I'm looking at is uh, um, H5. Like a, you know, some kind of get in the way move. A whirly <laughs> bird. Like but queen g6 check is a, is a real issue, right? Oh, like here, here, just that, and that. Yes, precisely. And if that? Yeah, that was the nice one. Then I go check, with king, to d7. My queen is defended. Yeah. I take the bishop with the rook on d8, right? I've got to take. I take the queen, and I take on e4, threatening to capture with check. Yeah, so you take rook, rook takes h5. Aren't I? Shoot, I thought it was like several pawns up. <laughs> you took two of them back. Okay, but I, I'm down with h5. h5. Oh, hold on. D5. Queen b6 check. Have we overlooked queen b6 check? King f1, because we can't go to the h file anymore. Yeah, we're dead. No, no, not, not that, because we need to be able to play rook check after yeah. knight takes h5. So h5, queen b6, king f1. Are we okay with that? Queen takes h5. Uh, rook takes h5, sorry, apologies, apologies. Rook takes h5. <sighs> I think I blundered. Oh dear. Oh dear, Amon. I think I blundered. Queen C7. Check. First. Looks nice. That was our initial thought. Queen C7. Check. King g6, 
rook on d1 to d6. But then we saw this crazy desperado, e4 takes f3. Mm -hmm. With the idea f2 check and bishop takes g2 check if we put our king on f1. So that was why we, we, we went on this h5 escapade. Okay, so h5, queen b6, I take it back. Rook d1, as you wanted, to d4. Then rook takes h5. Do we have a move there? I'm going to do a b6. I don't know. It doesn't feel it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're running into a brick wall. Okay, what do you think of... Say it. Here. 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 Takes. F2. Here. Pinned knight. So, Correct. and making a knight is ridiculous. So you so make a queen. queen. Yes. Queen g3 check. If the king goes back. Yes. Here, we play rook d7. Knight takes. We have mate. And... King takes, we have mate back on d6. Okay. Um, and king here, we have mate. Okay. Um, and so then everything is fine. Queen g3 check. Mm -hmm. King h7. Not... And then rook d7. Forcing black uh, to take on g2, right? Yeah, I was just thinking knight takes queen there. King there. We don't really have a mate anymore. Either. I could go rook e7 instead, but something about that feels weirdly close. Mm -hmm. But maybe. Ooh, so once again, queen c7 check, king g6, rook on d1 to d6, e4 takes f3, rook takes e6, f2 check, king h2. Queen, we went queen g3 check, not taking the bishop, and we went king h7. Mm -hmm. Rook to e7. Yeah, and then rook to e7, knight h5. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to use. Right. Use the other rook. Oof. Okay, I'm hitting a roadblock. And they were worried about the counterplay of the e4 pawn. That's exactly right. We are desperately worried about the counterplay. Hello, Arrangey. Nut, please. Thanks for the prime sub. RLB improving. 42 months in Jowdai. Thanks for gifting us up. Yeah, baby. We're close to 69, yes, sir. 69. Well, you know. We got 75. We got our, up, up our, up. our puzzles are higher than our sub <laughs> number. That's what I mean. Our subs right? to 69. So Sweet. It's a race. It's a race. The, the sub count and. Uh, can, can we get to 75? <laughs> exactly. Or can we get to 85? That should be the goal. Wow. One sub a puzzle. Great uh, work. A day's work for the boys. <laughs> exactly. Uh, once more, uh, just remind me again why why h5 is queen b6 check. Rook. That's, that's right. I think queen b6 check. We have to work. So... We're back to the obvious, queen c7 check, king g6. Oops, yes, sir, we got multiple people What making our sub. Yeah, we do? Sweet. We got them because they, they went at the same time. 
they both tried to do the exact same thing, which was bring the number up to around where our uh, puzzle score is, but they came in at the same time. Sweet. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Thanks, Eviscerated. 12 gifted subs from Eviscerated and No Habla In... In glass. Glass. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. No habla and eviscerated. And now we're at 88. So really are. Now now the bar is. (laughs) Now we have. Now the bar is quite high. 88 ourselves. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Okay. But we would be satisfied. I would go on the plane happy. To just beat the record. 88. Well, no. To make that mark. Oh, if we hit 88. But we only have one X left. So. Uh, At yeah. this point, I'm worried about beating our record, which is 77. Oh dear, that's what is important now, especially as we're as we're. Uh, that's right. Kind that's of nice. getting more and more as we get deeper and deeper into this problem, we're finding more and more potholes for us to fall into. Yeah, I don't have a good grasp on this problem right now. There's Myself too many either. H5, Queen too many B6. decent suggestions. I'm thinking Queen B6 is actually a massive threat. That black has in this position. Just it's a massive threat and we have to deal with it. So Queen C seven check, King G six. You know, should should we be playing H five chart? There? Yeah. yeah. I guess we had both the same thought. Kind of cognited at the same time on that one. But rook takes H five. Then rook D six. Well but Because this line, Rook takes, we were going like this. Yeah. And winning. Right. So that's the same thing. Right. Yeah. And I like that this wins. Um, if King H7. Kind of like that Queen E8 might be doing the trick. By the way, don't forget that the bishop is hanging mm-hmm. after Queen C7 check and H5. We do cover f3 with our queen covering the check feels the best about queen c7 yeah yeah it really feels necessary right right so i'm getting good vibes about queen c7 and then combining our ideas with h5 h5 and after king here i was thinking i'm still not sold here whoa whoa whoa. so we go queen c7 check king g6 h5 check King H seven H six threatening mate on G seven. Mm-hmm. That has a a dash of whiplash. Dang. And if takes Rook H eight Jack. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Why did I think Knight H seven Rook D six was forced here? Rook H8, check, King G6, I don't have. Okay, so, hey, look, problems are forcing. If I get to go check, check, <laughs> if I come out empty-handed, <clears throat> that's just not, that's just not fair. So check, King G6, H5, King H7. H6, H6, H6. Hmm. Why does rook d6 work in that case? Where? So check, check. So if takes. Here, 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 here. It's the same line as if we did it normally, but after king g6, instead of queen here, we just did h5. Right. Um, Which may not actually help us. do much. Dang. I don't know. Time's a factor. Queen c7 feels like almost a necessity. h5, we reject it, I think, because of queen b6. Queen b6 is too strong. It, it really is. I think we're going to have to go... Queen C7 and take our chances. I'm, I tend to agree. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> the heart was <laughs> <laughs> You felt that? I mean, I got a little rush. 
I, I got a, a little endorphin rush there. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, let's be real. This has only ever failed us. Yes, that is correct. Um, H5 feels... Um, funny enough, I'm looking at G4 now. <laughs> Which is, is not that insane. No. It is lifting the kimono. It is really lifting the kimono. <laughs> I mean, exposing yourself to the yeah, world, you know. Is Rook takes and we not can. Not a pretty look. <laughs> Rook takes and we can resolve. Okay, hold on. H5 check. King goes in the, in the box. Tell me about queen b8 again. Um, you do have queen b6 check. Yeah. I have knight g8. I have knight? Knight g8. Wow. Dang. Knight g8. Oh my. I'm not sure about knight g8. I would take on g8. No. Queen g8, take on b7. And when I go queen e4, that's a nasty pin. It should be winning. It doesn't feel like the solution, though. I'll give you that. I don't think that's it at all. Okay. <laughs> Shoot me down! <laughs> <laughs> could, 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 could you say it was, oh, man, you're close on this one. <laughs> no, that's not it at all. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't think so, buddy. Okay, buddy. Uh, the choices seem to be between rook d6, which doesn't seem to be working, and h5. Uh, is there a third choice uh, a month? Takes on e4. Rook d7. Huh? Rook d7. Which one? It has to be the rook on d8. Goes to d7. If you take the rook, I wanted to play rook to d6. And then when I just take? And then I lift the kimono. How? Oh. E4. I don't win a, a lot of material. I mean, even yeah. if that's successful. It doesn't feel right, yeah. right? So rook on d8 to d7 is our latest and greatest. Besides the fact also, that you could just defend. Well, I could just take. Like you're not oh, really no mate. You're not really threatening anything. Agreed. I guess Crap. you could make the argument you're threatening that somehow. Oh, wait a minute. You're right. Rook d7 take on f3, queen g3 check. But you're still only kind of threatening it because after this, I don't know what you're doing. Really? Rook takes g7. Well, I mean, I get a move as well. So let's say like I take. Yes, I here. check on g3. I take on g7. You can go f2. I'll go king h2, and maybe rook g5 is mating. B7, I don't... Uh, I don't know. I just don't get, I'm like, not... strong vibes. Right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the energy is... Yeah. Not high. Not high. Yeah. Yeah, not to mention, like, 98. Right? Well, yeah, I was... Uh... No, 98 is definitely, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> what? What do we like? F takes E4 now? Now that we stop Queen B6? Yeah, that was the move I was, I was just saying. Like, it comes to mind, but okay, I haven't calculated Okay, break it down much. for us. I mean, queen takes e4. Let's see the obvious there. Then we have to drop back on g3 with check, I assume. Right? But, like, even knight b4 there. Like, I'm not sold. Wow. Can't we then go, like, rook check? Okay. Yeah. Yes? I'm just go there. Good point. Yeah. Good point. No, I'm not sold either. Yeah, F A F E four is one of those moves that when you as you're considering it, it should occur to you that we're helping Black coordinate his pieces geometrically. The bishop on B seven, which is hanging currently, 
would suddenly be dis defended and black would have threats. So, rook on the first one to d6. That's our major problem. We saw rook d6 right away. The moment the problem came up, that it was only after we considered e4 takes f3 that we went into a pause. Pause. Yeah. Dude, this looks altogether wrong, but I have to ask you about it. Rook d6, e takes f3. Rook takes e6. Check. King h2. You make your queen. I take the bishop. You give me, the knight is pinned. There's a rook on e6 pinning the knight. So you give me a check on f4, I go g3. You give me a check on f2, I've got queen g2 as a defense. But it feels, I even have king h3 also waiting for another check. Um, rook d6, take on f3, take on e6, f2, king h2, make a queen, take the bishop. At that exact moment, uh -huh. I'm an exchange and a pawn to the good. Now it's black has to prove compensation. So let's say king h7. Okay, I take the knight. Rook takes. King e4 check. No, but you're up a pawn. Exactly, exactly. I no. mean, I've got a bit... Uh, okay, but Can't I'm saying, that. I mean, black has to show the compensation. King but, H7. But I, okay. I like your idea, but why not, instead of taking the knight, why not rook d4 or something? Okay. Stops f4, stops g4. Like, I want to keep the... If I keep the exchange, then I agree with you. But if you have to give it back, then I can't get on board. But, but I like your geometry. I'm an exchange and a pawn up in yeah. that final position. And I'm, I'm showing that I'm not worried about... Exactly. I like that. ...the attack, the compensation. Oftentimes, these puzzles are about, you know, like trying to prove mm -hmm. uh, compensation or not. But after queen f4 check g3, what did you like uh, a moment ago? Uh, I was saying king h7 to try no this. No queen f4 check. Yeah. So, and then you were proposing rook to d4 just to stop rook takes g4. And I like, I love the rook on d4. with the Defending h4, defending f4. Okay, That's guys. I feel like that's the, this is the best we've and it's come the up most with. Forcing, yep. Um, it's the best we've come up with. I agree. I okay. Agree. Shall we let it rip? Shall and we let it rip? Lastly, if King H five to also prepare this, which doesn't work as well, there is a Rook H eight. Oh, that's nice. So that's that's a that's a because otherwise, yeah, Knight G four is still. That's a big Benny. Yes. Benefit. Okay. Shall we let it rip, everybody? We want to do... Um, rook to d6. Rook on d1. We want to do this whole forcing line. Yeah, let it rip. Okay, I can't look. <laughs> okay. Can't Close look. your eyes, Yasser. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Can't look. Yeah! Oh! Oof. Oof! And now we know the next move, for sure. Right. There's no choice. Dang. Okay. This no no box. force box. And I like this. I think it's just, you know, once again, queen g three. That's grotty. Yeah. No, I got to take the bishop. Actually. It's queen g3 there. Roddy. Because queen g3 here does get mated. <laughs> does get mated. But uh, we'll stick with our guns. Right. Because after king there. Yeah. Just take it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> and this is not that. that is not it's box. It's box. And this comes down. Right? <laughs> yes. I was sweating buckets there, buddy. 76. 76. Oh.
Holy oh, smokes! Holy that was smokes! It. Because you can terrible. see that oh. you can see that idea when you first do the problem, but then you see Black's idea and you're like, you just forget strike. about it. Yeah, it's the Counter so, Strike that's off putting. Credit to you for coming back to back to back to the idea because we rejected <sighs> it multiple times. I, but the problem was I was hitting my head on a dead end on the other line, so yeah, I kept that's true. forcing myself to come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> crying, okay. Tears. We're on a time Tears. crunch here, yeah. Oh, so we've only got oh, 30 shoot. minutes. Damn. Um, this one ties our record. Oh. So I mean, forcing moves right. first. Right. And we're looking at queen d8. Queen d8 made is the geometry, but that's right. What the heck is? It's the the queen is doing there. The queen is doing marvelous job on a5. I'm looking at this and like. That looks like a get me there square, um, because the other thing. By the way, I mean no, no, no. Seriously, before we go too deeply, yeah, our queen is hanging. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, do we have any other move than queen h eight? Right, because any like. He takes our queen. Yeah, and we don't have any goodness. Yeah, to, and we're down material as well. So, right, I mean. Queen H8, I think, we might as well put that on the board because it's absolutely, absolutely forced, and then we can It's not a, not a single other move. Right. Okay. There wasn't a single no. other <laughs> move. Okay. So now we start to see E5. So E5 with the... It, it, if we could play two moves in a row, E5 and E5 takes F6, you know, we're kind of exposing... Oh, the rook's not on F1. What? <laughs> I was like, I, I'm, I'm thinking I was just support, three rooks in the position. I was just dude. here to support you. I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 right, yeah, right. He, Tell the chat. Yeah, takes so. F6. E5 <laughs> takes F6. That. Tell the chat. That's brilliant. Damn. <laughs> okay, so in terms of like these, this I've got type a of story to tell. It's a very important story. Very <laughs> important know. story. This is a, a very important story for the chat. So it was 1979, and I'm working with J James Tojam. Tojam, yeah. Yeah, Tarjan. Gra Grandmaster Jim Tarjan had qualified for the inner zonal, and we were at his home in Hollywood, California, apartment in Hollywood, California, prepping for this inner zonal in Riga, in the USSR. Mm -hmm. And darn it, in his inner zonal was one Lev Poligayevsky. And Tojam got it in his head that he could get catch Polygayevsky in the Polygayevsky variation of the night orb, which is a labyrinth sealed in a, in a riddle. I mean, it's 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 just a horrible, horrible blind. And we had done two weeks. We had been working on the position, and what had happened is we had played too fast. We found something, and it was illegal. Hmm. And I was completely crestfallen because all of our two, two weeks of effort went nowhere. And Tarjan said to me something that was remarkably salient. He said, no, yes, sir, this is good. He said, all work is good. Yeah. And I really like that. I agree with that. All work is good. And I see you're looking at knight c5 because you've got... Queen takes d5, queen d8. That's the geometry. And you've got the mate thread of rook d7 and rook d7. Mm -hmm. Looking good there, buddy. Rook a7 seems the most intrusive. Um, and queen takes c8, though. That's a bishop. Uh, knight c5, bishop d6. Yeah, that's the last one. Um, here. And also, knight c5, bishop c7. I guess I'm just continuing playing rook d7. Threatening queen d8. Nice. Also, knight c5. There was something I was thinking about this idea. Well, bishop d6 needs. Yeah, bishop d6. Some work. That was the no. That was the one I was about to answer. Just I knight thought, b7. I thought knight b7 as well as rook takes d6. Right. And queen f8. Right. The king could take a journey, but I don't believe it. But I do like knight e 
seven as well. In answer to Bishop E6. Mm -hmm. I love Knight C5. I just yeah. I love Knight C5. That has a very visual. Yeah, it's important approach. that like if our knight was off the board, so we didn't have our knight, yeah. then there would be no immediate easy way to just deflect the queen. Exactly. So that's why like moves that sim simply hang the knight, I'm not seeing anything. Exactly. The knight so, c5 the makes only other move, rook b7 and rook d7. Exactly. Right. The only other move is knight b4, but I think bishop b7 handles it. The only other thing I was calculating was knight d5. After bishop b7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knight b4 seems too timid. I mean, okay. Um, bishop b7 is forced, though, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Because okay. nothing, nothing else. And okay. queen c7, I played anyway. Yes, because of queen d8. So the fact that it's very forcing is kind of attractive. Bishop here, we take here. Mm -hmm. um, and bishop here, I didn't see anything except that. But that is good. Because then you go rook takes b7 check. Yeah, it was king d6 that I wasn't sure about. Maybe knight wow. b6. Knight b6, though. Wins. Rook. It wins a rook. No, I think you do have mate. This is second. Or, yeah, yeah, we might have mate as well. I, I didn't actually yeah. check. <laughs> yeah, knight b4, bishop b7, knight d5, king d6, knight takes f6, check. Discover check. Now, if you go back to e7, we have rook d7 mate. Mm -hmm. Go back to c7, we have rook. And if you go to c5, we have knight e7 check and queen d4 mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we do have a mate. So knight c5 looks good, but knight b4... Feels much more forcing. Yeah, that's the thing. It feels much more crispy. Crispy. Like basically, night before you need to refute. You need to need. You need to have a why not night before because mm -hmm. it's so damn simple. Right. And by the way, knight c5, rook a7, you still are kind of like analyzing yeah, stuff. Queen c8, though. Queen c8, okay. Bishop d's. Oh, wait a minute. What's the rook count? It's even at that point. Even, even material. Point. Yeah, but knight c5, rook a7, queen c8, bishop d6, rook d7 check. And... Yeah. Okay. I, 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 Both look very good. That's the right. problem. Okay. But knight b4 is very forcing. You're threatening mate and one. It's and by the way, doesn't get much better. The threat of mate and one is a damn good threat. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. <laughs> knight b4. And you can't defend it with the queen because you just take it anyway. Because we have queen d8 mate. Bishop d7, like, you That's just take rook. the rook. And then we're threatening more nasties, including. Rook takes the thing is, Black's not threatening C6. anything. Yeah, no, we're, so, we're, we're insulated over there. Sorry, the more I'm looking at it, Knight b4 is much more forcing. Bishop b7, Knight d5, right? King d7 gets made it even it's, simpler. Right. Fashion. Uh, let's say Pawn takes. Rook takes b7, check. King d6, only move. Take a Rook. And there's no... And we have the material and the attack. Night before, but it's so it's so obvious. I'm bothered by how simple. No, it is. I think this is actually a tricky problem because once you see knight c five, you're immediately seduced by rook b seven and rook d seven. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really good trap that. The a strong player, player falls into falls because into because he sees that beautiful geometry and says, "Oh yeah, let me put that on and get a strike." Yeah, I agree. Good night before. Can anyone refute our night before? <laughs> <laughs> because I, I just don't have it. I just don't have an answer to it. It's so simple, but like, it's powerful, is what it is.
You need to defend this. You can't do that with anything except these two moves. Right. This and again, move is ridiculous. Knight b4, queen c7, knight takes c6 check, queen takes c6, queen d8 mate. So you can't defend c6 with a queen. And that goes for any queen move. Any queen move. Um, so these moves are forced. Put your bishop on... B7 is just plain and That's simple. You can't hang a rook. Bishop there. Knight d5. And then we take the bishop. We it's take also the rook plain and... and simple. Okay, I gotta go with it. Let it rip. What's the answer to knight c5? Well, the thing is, knight c5 does have positions where you're still fighting. Like, knight c5, rook a7, queen takes f5. For example, yeah, crazy. You know stuff. what I mean? Crazy stuff. At the material's even. There's no force mate. I By think. Way, let me refute knight c5 if I can. Knight c5, queen c7. So knight before. <laughs> <laughs> as I was saying. As you were. Excuse me for interrupting you. Yes. As I was master, saying. Come on. Knight before is clearly <laughs> the move. <laughs> I was just explaining to the chat why like, yeah, knight c5 was good. less desirable. Exactly. I'm sold on knight b4, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Let her rip. Let her rip. Knight d5. Let her rip. Check is good. And take the rook. Take the rook. Okay, now we stop. <laughs> we <gotta> stop. <laughs> take my hands off the wheel. We lost control there. <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> okay. Hands off the wheel. Do not approach I ain't touching the controls. It. Stay away from the keyboard. I ain't touching it. So we it. take the rook. King takes because we're afraid of well, this all kinds of sh doesn't shenanigans. get us any better. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And queen a7 or queen c7, rook c2. What are but, we doing? Sorry. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I was looking at queen a7 because if we take the diagonal, there's no checks. Okay. But there is rook c2. c2. And I'm not a fan of that. Exactly. So we take the rook. And what does he want to do? This is the only move. I don't buy it. No, Just I, take don't that. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't So either. here, and where do we go, by the way? King h1. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> King f1. Oh! No, no. King f1, queen c4. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, hold on. So we take the rook. Yeah, yeah. Queen a2. Mm -hmm. King f3. We're also allowing that. And then we slide over to e3. The bishop's pinned. Yeah, yeah, the bishop's pinned. Agree. Agree. We just don't go king h1 and allow mate in one. <coughs> Very important. Ah, what about uh, Say queen it. a2, king f1, queen c4, king g1. Okay. Queen c5, king, king h1. King h1 in that case. Then we hide nicely. I'm liking it. And I'm ready Take to the sack. damn rook. Take the damn rook. Yeah, there, ah, there was no question. We weren't following that. Yeah. that one. Call hey, his bluff. I think we tied the previous mark. We did. <sighs> Which means, Yasser, we have about Two ten, strikes. 10 to 12 minutes to oh, shoot. get to surpass it and beat it right now before okay. we have to pass handoff baton style to Eric for Title Tuesday. Oh my God. Dude's cramp cramping our style. Yeah. <laughs> We have a very slow style. <laughs> <laughs> very slow. Very slow. <laughs> okay. Um, dude. Uh, no, queen b1, shack, king f2, rook c2, clear. Queen b1, shack, rook e1. So, bishop takes d5. Queen takes d5. Otherwise, I got queen b1, shack, and rook c2. So bishop d5, queen d5, rook c2. Say right. again, you want to take? Yes. Rook takes rook here. No. Oh, bishop takes, rook takes, queen b1 check. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then rook c2 or rook c1, depending okay. on. Yeah. So you have to take the queen, I thought. Right? Or check.
Hmm. Okay, sorry, I didn't consider that one. Okay. Is that good? So bishop d5, queen b4 check, king g8, rook takes. I was looking more forcing rook c5 takes a5 because there's uh well, i guess it can be covered there's a geometry i liked with right. like queen e4 and queen e1 mate but you, you can play rook b1 there so. agreed yeah there okay so once again bishop d5 queen b4 king rook takes rook c2 rook d2 and somehow you're resisting but uh okay. What's the move by the, what's the move on this, by the way? Queen B4 check and bishop takes B7. Yeah. Uh -huh. I feel the tiredness is beginning to creep in on us both there. Yeah, not not at right now. We need it the most. Right? We need our energy the most. Right? And yeah, like rook d8 is also. The same reasons. So bishop d5, queen b4 check, king g8, rook takes d5. It feels like we're in that moment where... Okay. What? What about this? Can we just pin and win the bishop? Queen d6, rook d8, and bishop d5. And that's the idea. So queen d6 does... Protect is against b4. And that, exactly, and that's the one thing reinforces like. the pin. And you can't play this, even though it's also protected, but... Why not? For the rook's game. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got your uh, test, did I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> I feel the well tiredness done. creeping in. <laughs> well done, young Palawan. <laughs> Deja vu. Deja vu day, man. <laughs> that never happened before. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, you want to play rough, huh? <laughs> I'm vibing to queen d6 unless okay. there's an issue because... I've got a problem. Yeah, so what is Okay, it? queen d6, yeah. queen d3. Uh -huh. Rook d8. I'm worried about queen h7. So again, queen d6, queen d3. Rook d8, queen h7 with some counter punching. But you have Please. to really uh, watch out for some kind of queen c5, bishop a6. So here, here, I guess, I, do I need to commit this? No, you can, you're right. You can just start with queen c5 check. King. Yeah, but after that, there's no bishop a6 just yet. Sorry, after king f1? Well, your queen's on d3 is what I'm yes, saying. Yes, so, I, I see. Right. So I'm saying maybe what I'll do is I won't go rook d8 so that my rook is still useful. I was thinking about rook c5. Mm -hmm. I hear you. But then, I hear you. But then you can even have it go there. So the, the real line is here. Here, queen c5, king there, bishop check, bishop check king I have no here. Place to go. Now I can. No, now I check. Your rook's on d8. I thought. Yeah, I'm checking with my queen. Oh, check, sorry. Force king f2, tech. take on f4, and then you cut. F7 is mate. Wait, but I still think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, queen wait, f4. Wait. Oh, no, it's with check, right? Correct. Queen uh, takes here. I, I like king it. King g1 is me. I like it king because here is, of And this. bishop f3, we take the rook. Yeah, queen d6 is definitely getting... Uh, it's the most forcing by far. And it, it requires white to play queen d3. And then we've got what you're saying, these nice ideas of queen c5 check. And bishop a6 is a response to mm -hmm. queen h7. I like it. Queen here. And the thing is, yeah, the queen has no squares to utilize to get out of the pin but still you know defend the bishop exactly um here and that was why i wanted to play queen d3 in order to play moves like bishop c4 bishop e4 
Good. And then your queen c5 check. I start with rook d8. Yeah. Yes. Uh, got me. Queen h7. Check. check. Forced, because if here we simply mate. Mate. King f1. Check. Bishop h6 again. Uh, King has to go yeah. to e1. Check and take on f4. And queen f1 is mate if king g1. And if king e1, that's with check. Correct. And, yeah. Good. <laughs> I like it. Queen, queen d6 is boss. What do we think of queen d6? I'm liking it. And it's 452. And it's very forcing. And it gets us a new mark. Yeah, that's right. Before Eric. Tomorrow I have a flight, but maybe we're getting something that's right. in the morning. Yeah, that's right. That's you know, right. Push the limits. Push the limits. Because really, I, I want our run to end with an X. Yeah, and like, not only that, I want the record to be like there. You know, any guests that yeah. come. Magnus. Fisher. <laughs> the go anybody. No, mm -hmm. no. We want that to survive three months, four months. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Queen d6. Let's do it. So, queen d6. Yeah. Queen d3. Rook d8. Queen h7. Queen c5. Check. That's our winning sequence. Queen d6. And chat proposes queen e 2 Understood. Understood. Queen b2. Queen, Queen c5, c5 check. Five. And then King f1. Bishop a6 check. King e1. Queen g1 check. b1, d2, Queen f2. Yeah. Queen by four. Yes. In the immortal words of Larry Christensen, getting them from behind. <laughs> and I think that might be my last cause for concern, Yasser. <laughs> Yay! Let's do it. Queen D6. Let's do it, guys. Ready, Yasser? Yes. <sighs> the, getting the first move right really right. matters. It really does. And okay, you know you're on the right track. Queen d3. I think we refuted it very, very nicely. So they're going to have some queen other d4. kind of... Queen d4. What ideas are Well, they want something here. Yeah, that's clear. So here they want, I don't know, rook e1 or something. Right. That was the counterplay I was suggesting that they might like. This really looks... Is this ever wrong? needed instead of this? Here. Actually, I was going the other way, Amon, for just a moment. If I go rook c1 check, rook c2 check, you can't drop your rook in the way. Mm -hmm. Right? Sure. So, in g1. Uh, my immediate queen g6 is fail. Sorry. Rook here, rook uh, e6. Any, okay. Threatening queen h8. I don't like that. No. Nobody likes that. It's just wrong on so many levels. Rook e6, queen e6. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Because if this, rook e6. Right? I think, was... I think rook e6... Is a winning idea or start drawing, you know, a ruining right, idea. Ru ruining it. So I think when you're just debating between these, this falls into that. Right. And again, it's one of those things where so much of the tactics are double attacks. And when you're playing the move rook d8, you're defending your queen so that rook e6, queen takes e6, spoils everything. But okay, rook d8, 
I'm ass yeah, assuming the rook like goes it. back to e1, let's say. Threatening mate. F6. Does that just close it down? I think so. Rook e6 in that position, we still have queen e6, as previously mm -hmm. seen. By the way, we're getting some subs, man. Did we call out everybody who... Uh, yeah, has... but buddy, we got like one minute here. We oh, got sorry. A, we got a pass to Eric. We got title Tuesday. Dang. What? We got a... I is mean, our, clock, our flag is hanging. Our flag is falling here. Uh... Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get this position it, it deserves, but I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Rook D8. Me too. Should we just bite the bullet? I feel like we could definitely lose our mark, but... Yeah, but we got to do it. We got to do something. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Ah! <laughs> and let's get, uh, let's get F6 in, right? F6 is the only move. That's made in one. Well, King G, yeah, and Rook G3. Yeah, F6 yeah. is the only move. And this is and nice. Rook G3 but... mate, careful. So we My must, spidey... must take, right? Simple. Because takes here, we get made. Clear. Okay. Have to take the piece, right? Have to take the piece. <gasps> New mark! Nice, guys. Nice, buddy. Where's Eric when you need him? I think he's blow drying. I can hear. <laughs> I hear I can, the blow drying. Yeah, I can too. hear the lads. <laughs> there we go. We talked about it yesterday during the way of water. What would be satisfaction? And that's right. I think we both felt like mid eighties would. Yes. Would. I think eighty five is provide like a, some satisfaction. Oh yeah, even just hitting the eight zero be a nice milestone. So we're gonna get into some puzzles. What's up, uh, Airbus? Hi, Joanna. Otzi N R. Thanks for the 18 months, Master Almagaver, 16 months. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, Yasser. This is number Puzzle 79. Number 79. Well, I mean, I always feel a little bit put off when I see a puzzle like this where the first move is so intuitively, demandingly obvious. It's like queen takes f2 with the threat of rook takes d1. Followed by queen f1, uh, the, the mating combination we're also very, very aware of. Mm -hmm. And I don't see how this could possibly be a problem that has a 37 34 polling. <laughs> well, at least right. maybe the, the, the move is certainly not going to be 34. The first move is not going to be a, a 3700 challenge, right? Um, I think if you take, yes. it definitely feels like, you know. A reasonable next move might be h3. But then rook to g6. Mm hmm. Resign. The only thing I can imagine is like queen f2, rook c1. Because again, the threat of rook takes. I mean, but I don't think this keeps you in the game. Queen takes f2. Rook and queen c1. f2, g3. Then Check I think. Three and d1 is saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. Well, or your Rook D2, which mm -hmm. you're about to uh, recommend. But either way, we're winning meeting. So Queen okay. takes F2. Now is Queen B8, Rook takes D1, Queen C7 check. Some issue? No. Either this is a too, too easy start, or... or uh, I, mean, I never like the easy puzzles. Right? Too easy? Like Queen F2? Come <laughs> on. Um, so let's say something like that, well, where they shove the rook. Right? And then I was thinking, okay, that, that absolutely makes sense, right? Because everything else is just ridiculous. Yeah, it does seem like that. And these checks, rook takes d, and we can just dance nicely. We queen don't even. Eight. I mean, we even have rook d seven. So yeah. Okay, yeah. queen f two. I mean, and there's not really any. Yeah, g three is clear. H three. We wanna. I think rook g6. go here. Yeah. And if rook 
there it's clean. That's very cool. And if I think this works you if G four then F three or D two as you like. Yeah. Too many answers at that point. Right. So Queen F two looks like you must start that way. Right. Um and then we were looking at rook it's somewhere going here. away. Yeah. Uh, the first thought that I had, that I missed queen b8, was queen f2, rook c1, rook g6, rook g1. Yeah. Rook h5. Agree. But there's queen b8, unfortunately. I don't have time to get rook h2. Agreed. So queen f2, rook c1. I think we put those moves on the board. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. What is queen the, f2, everybody? What does the chat think about queen f2? Because rook c1. The other moves then... Then queen f2 are like non existent. I don't. You need to make a threat to start the problem. Right? There's no tricky, like. Oops. <laughs> queen desperado somewhere. Yeah, queen d8, double hit. No. I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing anything here. I'm not seeing anything. I like. I like the way queen f2, rook c1, rook d2, rook g1, rook g6 is going. And definitely not um, taking, maybe now or, or ever in general, because, because of d8. This will be a checkmate. So exactly. Should we put queen f2 on the board, Please yes, do. sir? Okay. Okay. So, um, nice comment there is if we play rook d2. Yeah. Rook to G one. Rook to G one. Rook to G six. That looks like completely winning. Until you see rook on A one to F one. I mean so yeah. maybe sacrifices on F seven are a little bit off putting. Mm -hmm. That was why I was thinking rook G six, rook G one, rook H five initially. Um, so if we do this, this, and then this, that's a way to put the same pressure on G2, but at least deal with this. stops rook f1 and the queen d4, though, is what I was looking at. Okay. I could then go rook g2, I'm winning, but it's uh, another way of skinning this cat. Perhaps rook h6. So with the idea of rook h6, pardon me, the idea of rook h6 is that I'm threatening rook h2 mm -hmm. and rook h4. Yep. Yeah. I'm guessing queen b8. Right. Queen b8 to me always looks like the answer to that. Exactly. Um, I guess there is h3 to consider, but then some sort of rook d2 and, and rook h3. That was the initial idea. But queen b8 is like really annoying. Really annoying. Um, now, of course, everybody, we could play moves like rook d2, rook g1, rook takes b2. And I'll accept the idea that we're winning. <laughs> but that's not going to be a solution for this puzzle rush problem, where the solution is going to involve us making... Um, checkmating threats that or massive wins of material, mm -hmm. not just a pawn. There is a um, like without the rook. There's another pattern where you know the rook goes to g1 and we sack and we have queen h4 mate. Yeah, so we don't fully need the rook to swing over in every line. Queen b8 is coming against everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at something like rook g5, okay. rook g1, okay. rook h6, queen there, and e5. And I want to do that same trick. Plus I'm tethering the, the rook there. Right. In the case of h3, after your e5, I'm assuming checks don't help white. They, they very well might, but let's say rook takes g2, 
Rook G2, Rook H3 clear but would be my win. Yeah, but, but there are many checks. <laughs> Rook takes G2, Queen takes E5. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a lot there's a lot to yeah. to work on in but that hold line. On. The Rook G5. Yeah. Uh, again, um, Rook G1, Rook H6 with the checkmating threats you mentioned. Queen B8, E5. Say again. Oh, you're just saying the line. Yeah. Yeah. E5, um, H3, yes? Sure. Rook E5, H5. I'm assuming Queen C8. And the problem is, I hate how this checks every single move to consider. Because the other one is when the Rook's on G5, yes. Queen C7, there's no King F8. Yes, because of D8. Right. So I don't love that. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's not crisp, clean. It's not pretty. You have an ugly style. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone say, how, 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 do you, how do you say it? Did anyone tell you, you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you play chess ugly. <laughs> <laughs> tell me what you really think. Rook h5, we wanted queen b8. Always. Mm -hmm. And then rook f4. Mm. Mm. I like rook f4 on many levels, including the fact that it stops queen b4 check as a possible. That's, a, that's another thing, yeah. Wow, rook f4. Holy smokes, that's a great move. So, r Rook H5, you gotta play. I like that idea as well, Kaizo Nation. That nice. visually it satisfies my geometry you know, aesthetics. So, like, so he, yeah. he was suggesting, Which one? I think he had a few lines, but let's say his principal idea is the Rook on G1 and Queen G3. Just to stop this. So something like um, one of these guys to the G file. Okay. Rook G1 and Queen G3. Okay. So that the other guy could swing over. And we are threatening Queen takes H2 and Rook over as well. Gotcha. So like, let's say Rook here, here, Queen G3. And then Queen only takes move. H7. Yeah, only move. Um, must be played, but... Yeah, I just like the idea. I like the look of Queen G3. Like Very much. I think we're seeing several wins suddenly. So I like what you've just said. Rook. Let's say Rook to G5. Yeah. Rook to G1. Yeah. Queen to G3. Queen takes H7. Mm-hmm. Rook F4. Rook F4. <laughs> With the idea of just sliding over. Queen H3. H3, yeah. The problem with uh, Rook G5, Rook G1, Queen G3 is you're not sure if you want Rook G6, Rook G1, Queen, F, Queen G3, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if you start with Rook G5, Rook G1, Rook F4. Mm -hmm. Why are we playing Rook F4 again? Because, well, white does something, but we're threatening, which looks kind of unstoppable, Rook, like, Rook to the H file and sack on H2. Right. And we wanted to stop Queen B8. The other thing that we can do is, like, if there's a situation where we're attacking this guy, like let's say rook g6 Ooh. here, queen Ooh. f4. Yeah, sorry, please. I and then like rook h6. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's try this again. Rook to g5, rook to g1, rook to h5, queen b8, box, mm -hmm. rook f4. That, I think we looked at this line, right? Rook f4. Okay. Um, Covering b4. h3. 
Good, good. Queen g3. Looks convincing. Also, if I'm if I'm accurate, rook to g5, very forcing move. Mm -hmm. You must play rook g1. G3 is terrible, right? G3, G3. rook h5. Clear, right? Yeah. Okay, so rook g5, rook g1, very forcing. Rook h5, threatening mate on h2. You must play queen. You can B8. play h3 as well. No, I don't think you can. Rook on h6 to f3 to h6. Sorry, what? Rook where? Rook g5, rook g1, rook h5. h3. h3. And I could put my rook on f6 either on f3, threatening mate on h3, or I can put it on h6, threatening to sacrifice on h3. So what I was saying was rook g5, rook mm -hmm. g1, rook h5. Again, threatening mate. There's only one move, queen b8. Rook f4. Uh, the, um, the moves are coming incredibly forcefully. And after like, rook f4, then white moves the rook somewhere? Or rook e1? Or... No, then rook h2 and rook h4. Mate. What if I do it first? Or no, ah, that's that's it. Here, here, here. Rook d1, threatening mate. Rook h2 and. Oh, you have h6. rook h6 though. Yes. I feel like I'm finding a annoyance for white because the problem was. Okay. Um. Rook here. There, queen f4. Okay. Was looking. Oh, you want to play queen h2? Yeah, but you want to meet queen h3, here. and you're so far from hitting the h pawn. Like you have no firepower there. Exactly. So this looks very forcing. Yeah, that's what I think the puzzle rush is all about: is finding those very, very strict, narrow paths your opponent can't deviate. What about rook e5? Rook e5 is a nice looking move in appearance. It'll force the rook on e1 to move, that is for sure. <laughs> well, I'll move here. <laughs> I knew the really That's But if anything, rook e5 only helps white. Kind of. I don't know. I think this is obviously the, the move, but. Yeah. I'm liking rook g5. So rook g5, g3 gets killed by rook h5. Clear. Um. There are no other moves to defend mate than rook g1. Forced. Rook h5. Rook h5. Rook h2 and rook h6 mate. Threatening that. There's no other move than queen b8. There's queen g7. g6. It would just be gross if rook g5, rook, and queen g3 were, were the right move. You know, of course. It's like queen g3 also kind of feels like that could be a winner too, right? And just to check all of our checks. Yeah. Rook there, queen c7. Right, so our rook would be on h5 in mm -hmm. this case. h5 so, and f4. So queen c7, king f6, or king oh. f8? Mm -hmm. Well, king f6, I take and I go rook f1. Precisely. Yeah. King f8. King f8. Here, here. D4 is covered. G5 is covered. That's why I like the rook on f4 so much. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. It has that pretty... But then the queen can move places. Queen d3. Right? Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Queen... Jeez. Mm. Oh, 
Oh boy, that's a whole different kettle of fish. Is the, the question is when you're moving these rooks is why is it never the other one? Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> you exactly. always have to have an, e an why answer. Why are they starting reason? with rook g6? Correct. Rook g1, you know, rook h6, for example. Exactly. Well, in this case, I mean, I really was very strongly attracted to the rook being on f4. I thought we were covering yeah. b4. I like that too. Yeah. It just felt very... Righteous. Mm. The king f6, still queen dh. Right? No, that. No. Queen f4, queen f4. Rook f1. Rook h2, maybe. King f1, or king g1. Oh, the other rook. Yeah, the one that doesn't mate me. <laughs> rook g1 to f1. Nice. Um, he gets. Okay, so once again, we're, we really, really want to focus on the most forcing moves. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's. This is a weird one. Golly, it sure is. Yeah, going away from second rank seems wrong. Like rook g5, rook g1, queen f4, let me mate on but h2. Then h3. h3. I mean, I don't doubt that we can make threats, but, you know, like, is that a clean win? I don't know, man. Mm. So, for example, what I'm not liking about this line is that we fully commit everything first. So what about Rook? G5, Rook G1, Rook F4. So start with this Rook to F4. And what I was, I was trying to play. Queen B8. Yeah, because I was thinking, okay, Queen H7, we can go here. That's easy. Um, That's nice Queen one. B8. And then the last time we played this, we did that. Yep. Like the position yes. would be the same. That would transpose. Do we have like a more useful move? Like, I was looking at like Queen H4, like Queen G3 there. Mm -hmm. Those types of moves. Right, because of the existing mates. Because then we could run here. Queen G3, there's H3. But th this is sort of what I mean. Like, Queen G3, I'm threading mate. Right. Threading mate. Right. Let's just say, although, to be honest, queen takes a7. Okay, so, sorry, one more look. Rook g5. Rook g1. Queen g3. Threatening mate on h2. Yeah. h3, I think, is too slow. I will play rook h6 or something of that nature. Yes. That looks mating. You must play queen takes h7. Yes. That's right. I play rook on g5 to... Ah, we went queen h3 last time. That's right. Rook on g5 to g6, threatening rook h6, queen h3. Mm hmm Right. Okay. Here. There. Here. 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 Queen g3. I don't think this actually helps or does anything. Like, all these checks seem like I'm gonna go here and that's safe. 
that right. always works no matter what checks whatever agreed um the rooks are here rook g1 queen is here i'm saying the checks don't help so then you have to deal with this you must play h3 it's a mar moment yes. um, also if queen here we have that right so you must play h3 and then i want to go rook h4 yeah. so uh, sorry rook h5 sorry yeah so My long fault. as there's not yeah so long as there's not a no you'll not yes rook h5 that's correct yeah yes and from there, that looks unstoppable. Right, because there's no check on d8 and queen to d3. No. As in that previous oh, there, line. Th there is. Queen c7, right? Because then you have to go here. Yes. And here, and here. Except but queen is on g3. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So what I mean is, like, um, it feels like your line... Uh, what was it? Oh, rook h5. Um, H, is it H3? No, not H3. Uh, queen B8, and then Rook F4. It feels like in this one, the Be fact right. that this exists needs yeah. to be taken care of. Exactly. So that's why I was like, it doesn't really threaten anything, Rook F4, but it feels like White's paralyzed, more or less. Right. And Rook F1. You're, and you're stopping take. Queen H7. Um, although, to be honest, I didn't even consider that this is an issue. And it is an issue. Yep. Yep. Oh dear, guys. Oh dear. We're it is we're getting stuck no on rook g six, rook g five, and rook d two. We're getting stuck. It's rough because there's two rooks and there's like multiple so, squares. We need to get them all to. Right. And then the move order is important. And once in a while, white's gonna make a threat. Rook g5, there is queen takes h7. No, uh, g2 is mate. Oh, sorry, you're talking about a different line. I'm reading a chat comment that uh -huh. informs us that they're listening to you, Yasser, and not using an engine. Very good. <laughs> That's excellent. Glad to hear it. An honest chat. Right? Rook g5. I love the forcing nature of some of the lines that we've been looking at. Yeah, they seem so forcing. Wonderful. But I feel like the first move, you have to threaten mate. That's what I'm like. I'm not really satisfied with any move that doesn't force the rook here because that opens up all the other mate ideas. Agreed. Like these moves on their own don't do anything. Right. Um, Okay. I can't be right. Rook G five, Rook G one, Rook H six. D8. Rook on g5 to h5. Threatening mate. Rook h2 and queen h4. Yeah. Rook d1. And we take on h2. Take, take, take. Take on b2. That's winning, but it's not the clean takeout. We yeah. Want, right? What about rook g5, rook g1, rook h6, queen b8, rook h5? Say again. Okay, sorry. So that's, that's the line with queen b8. Is that right? Which line? Rook g5, rook h6, rook h5. Yeah, this was your initial one. Queen b8. Yeah. e5. I don't think we looked at that one specifically. Okay. I am threatening rook h2. 
I think we... You can check me on C7. D8. Check me on D8. Go Queen D3. The last time we looked at this, I think we looked at this. Okay. So this is the same thing, but with the rook on F6. I don't know. Right. What difference that makes. Right. Okay, here's, here's the line I'm thinking. Rook G5. Mm -hmm. Rook G1. Rook H5. Queen B8 forced. E5. Mm -hmm. Queen C7 check forced. King F8. Queen D8 check forced. King G7. Again, I'm threatening Rook H2. Not too many choices other than Queen D3. Yeah? Yeah. Rook H2. King H2. Rook H6. Queen H3. We're taking pawns massively ahead. And what about if we play Rook H6 there in that final position? Oh, it's winning it. Rook H6. We're threatening mate. Uh, wasn't so clear to me. Oh, he has queen d4. I was gonna go rook h6, and I'm like, okay, it's h3, right? It's forced. Yeah. And then we play e4. And the queen is stuck for a square. But there's queen d4 check. Ah. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, that's really annoying. At h3... Rook g3. No, but I've just doubled the rooks. That's the only reason h3 was played. Okay. The rooks here, the rooks here, queen d3. And I was saying here, here. Right. Yeah. Okay. So one, the, the, this is the rabbit hole where we're, we're going down. Rook g5, rook g1. Rook h5, threatening mate on h2. Queen b8 is box. So why we're attracted to these moves is because they're absolutely forcing. Now comes the move e5. Which I don't like, by the way. Like, overall, I you felt like, like moves like rook f4. I feel like something. we've been closer in so many other lines, but yeah, e5. e5. Uh, we want to check. Yeah. Check. E d3. Which is like a good place to stop because it, just at that moment, it's like we've, we've done so many good things for ourselves. Like, our king is safer. Just, you know, our. Rooks are coordinating. Our pawn is on e4. Uh, just a lot of good things have happened. For us. So queen to d3, right? So when in that position where our queen is on, pardon me, the white queen is on d3, we have a rook on h5, right? Mm -hmm. The rook is on f6. Where is our rook? H5, rook G1, rook H5, king of D5. A rook is on F6, dude. Yeah. There's no, there's no queen D4 check. E4. And then just queen takes, though. There's no, there's no, uh... What do you mean? Or, sorry, no, then uh, queen D4. Our rook is pinned. Or F6 rook is pinned after queen D4. Agreed. Then I can play queen f4. No, oh, rook h2. And queen h4. Oh, because we don't need the rook to mate. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay. Poof. Okay, clear the board for just a second. Clear the board. Rook g5. Rook g1. Rook h5. Yeah. Queen b8. e5. Queen c7. King f8. Queen d8. King G7. Because what I'm looking at now is Queen C8. And Queen G4. And I'm th I think that kills it. What, 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 E5. Yeah. Queen check. Queen check. And our rook's on H5, so that's a big ah. issue. So you're, you're, you're down with Rook G5, Queen B8, Rook H5. Five, no, rook g5, rook g1, queen b8, <laughs> rook g5, rook g1, rook h5, queen b8. You just don't like e5, you like rook f4. Yeah. 
And we like that too. I mean, that was our start. What, 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 what? I'm saying, why do we have a position where our rook is on? <coughs> why do we have rook here and rook here instead of rook here and rook here? Right. That's confusing. Because like this. Because of rook f4. Yeah, but I'm saying if you're playing e5. Yeah, I like, agree then, with you. Then e5 you is want too the rook on g6. Right. E5 is too weakening. So I want your line. I want your line, but I don't want it with rook g5, h5. I want it with rook g6, rook h5. Okay. And then e5. <clears throat> now there's no queen g4 check. Okay. Um, there is queen b4. Dang it. Okay. Oh, I guess there's c5. And there's c5. c5. Uh, I don't know, queen b7 might be useful. But what about king f6? Rook f1. My rooks are on h5 and g6, correct? Oh, yeah, rook f1, rook takes h2. That's Indeed. Right. I was thinking there's no queen g2, but yes. rook h2. Yes, that's correct. So rook g6 here, 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 queen here, queen here, queen here. Yes. The problem now is that queen d4 is a check. Correct. But I think this is enormous... I do too. Or black. And I'm loving. Because in that position, there's moves like rook g3. Like, what about. There's moves like queen f4, which I think is just really yeah. juicy too. Mm -hmm. Queen h4. Yes. Queen h4. That's the best. Okay. So I think we're on the right track. Because then h3, rook g3. Yes. Yeah. I think we're on the right track. Because the problem is there's so many rook... And the one thing that's funny, rook though... Rook g6, rook h6, rook h... Yes, sorry, please. Is that when we take, we're getting checked on h3. So it's, we're actually threatening there. Queen takes h3. Correct. But I'm thinking rook g3, what if, like, queen e2? Right. <laughs> we're not actually Breaking able through. to take that. That's hilarious. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, the, 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 the options of rook g6, rook g5, rook h6, rook h5, <clears throat> rook d2, because rook d2, a move that we haven't really aggressively pursued. I think we just saw this. Rook F1 kind of at stopped. the beginning, and we just kind of like, eh. Agreed. That's what we did. And we shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. Um, rook G6. Rook G1. Rook H5. Queen. B8. E5. Queen C7 check. Yes. King E7. King F8. Queen D8 check. King F8. Queen back to D3. Now it's very accidental that E4 just doesn't win. Yeah. What did we do? What, what, what did we hit? Have white do after rook g3? Mm, we didn't look at rook g3. Probably because it doesn't make a threat. It does. We're going to take the queen. <laughs> it doesn't make a checkmate threat. Like queen anywhere, I don't know. Queen f1, queen e4. Both look reasonable. Mm -hmm. Well, queen e4, I would just take on h3. The queen f1 is the problem. But you can't take on h3. That's the thing. Why? Because it's checked always. Or it's pinned. There's always going to be an issue. Okay, because our king will be on That's G7. what I'm not liking about these lines. It's like, the king ends up on g7. It's so annoying. <laughs> Funny. Gosh, I really thought we were on the right track with that rook f4. 
solution. Okay, so rook g6, rook g1, rook h5, queen b8. e5, queen c7, king f8, queen d8, king g7, queen d3. How could this not be winning? Okay, once again, in that position with the White's last move is queen d3, right? White's last yeah. move. I go queen h4. It's always, the defense setting is always h3. 